Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to today's video. Today is going to be an exciting, well, I feel like every ride, I say it's going to be an exciting ride, but it'll be a nice ride because as always, we, my mood is dictated by how sunny or gloomy the day is. And today is pretty sunny. So I'm excited about that because we get to ride outside and uh, we're heading over to a town called Roxbury and we're going to recon the Mine Hill gravel course. We're doing this event after Farmer's Daughter, which is one week after Farmer's Daughter. And it's a 13 mile course and we're doing three loops of it. So it'll equate to about 39 to 40 miles with about 3000 feet of elevation gain. So yeah, that's what we're heading on over right now. And uh, we'll see you out on the road. So we parked here at the Orzak Family Preserve and there's also a dirt trail actually, um, I think a walking trail and I saw some mountain biking trails. So I'd like to check that out someday when we want to go mountain biking. But yeah, it looks like a beautiful day here. Nice farm uh, here in Rocks, I feel Roxbury or Washington. And I want to check this out because the blue barn behind me might have some uh, duck or quail eggs. There's supposed to be a brewery. Oh, distillery, I mean. Oh, it's right there. What's the difference between distillery and brewery? I think a distillery is like for liquor. So what we're doing now is riding to the start of the gravel course. Interesting fun fact about this event is it started out as a trail race, a half marathon trail race. And then they, I believe this year is the first year that they are um, opening it up to some gravel folks like us. So sadly, last time I checked, there aren't many people signed up for this event. I'm not sure if it's because of the format of the event uh, the gravel riders go first and then the runners go after and so so that means that if we were to loop around for a second the second time there's a chance that we might be riding into some runners. So I'm not sure if the reason why there aren't many people riding this is because of the fact that it's combined with the runners or it's just their first year and you know they haven't quite advertised it but the organizers who organizes this event is by Steep Endurance and Steep Endurance around here is pretty well known trail running organizer so clear to right So are you doing a one lap warm up? I think I'm going to start my first effort when we get to the, to the first yeah, which I think is about, it's almost six miles in. Okay. 
I think. So I gotta keep an eye on the the mileage. Remember we rode this on the canyons? Oh yeah, I kind of remember that. But I think we are actually riding on gravel roads. Hopefully, not on trails. So my workout, hopefully I get to do it uh, and I don't chicken out, is three by three minutes, two sets of those. Yeah, I, uh, I was supposed to do a long tempo interval workout but I don't think that the, that the roads we're riding are gonna be well suited for te long tempo. So there's a couple of uh, climbs coming up almost six miles into the ride. Uh, and I'm gonna just do like upper threshold going up those climbs. I'm just going to do upper threshold going up the climbs. So above FTP, but still in zone four. So another thing I should mention is this is kind of the first test of my new wheel set with this bike because last week when we rode the gravel bikes it was just single track practice so I wasn't I did notice a difference with uh, the new tires helping out with the single track but I can't really say that I noticed a difference with the wheels because I wasn't going fast enough the climb is coming up I mean it's, it's a mile long how long are you doing your threshold okay so just ease up at the top yeah. right turn I think so yeah uh, hold on let me just make sure that this is the right road oh no not this one keep going morning Wait, was that it? Shit. I think that was it. Uh, is there another road here? No. Sorry, that was it. Let's turn around. Sorry. Ugh. Are you sure? I'm gonna start mine though, because it's short anyway.
Yeah, according to the elevation profile, it's a climb. Full looks washed out here. downhill after this. Okay. Get your arm together. Okay, John. Okay. Let's wait until... All these climbs are short. Except for the first one. Yeah, we're gonna make a left turn. Is this the left turn? Holy sh! This is a climb. Oh god. Okay, here we go, honey. We're clear.
So I didn't record my first set of intervals because I, I just, I thought I had hit the record button and I didn't, um, but just did the second one. And there's like a series of three climbs. Um, there's like two longer, the first one's the longest and the one in the middle is kind of short. And then the third one is kind of in between the first two. Um, the first one and the third one are pretty steep. So, um, originally I was planning on doing like upper threshold power for these climbs, but, um, I'm just not able to hold my power low enough on the steep parts. Uh, cause my, my threshold is just not high enough to, to stay at threshold on those steep parts. So I had to, uh, basically go into zone five, but, um, you know, felt pretty good, relatively good on those. Um, so, yeah, I'm just uh, chilling out here while Joy catches up. She's doing um, VO2 intervals. It's a uh, com comfortable temperature, not too... Oh, sh that might be a... Is that a mountain lion? Or not a mountain lion, uh, like... Um, I just saw like a very large looking cat thing. Uh, not sure if that would be uh, um, if that would be a mountain lion or or what that would be. But yeah, hopefully that thing just kind of stays over there. Anyway, I'm gonna put the camera away and just be on a lookout for this uh, creature. Yeah, that was a, a good route. Pretty, uh, I think it's a pretty challenging course. 
Um, there were a lot of steep climbs and kind of uneven terrain. Unfortunate thing for me was that I didn't realize this until after the after my efforts that my saddle uh, actually dropped about like five millimeters. So I was wondering why I couldn't put out the power. Yeah, I adjusted it after the interval and I felt better, but at that point I was already finished with my workout. Part of it also, I don't know the the, the course very well, so um, that is kind. Of, that's my. Those are my many excuses as to why I didn't do well on this on this workout. But for this one, unfortunately, um, it just I just didn't know the course very well, or I didn't know the roads very well. So um, it is what it is. On the bright side, we parked at this um, farm area where they have a trail and so we checked out the trail and scoped it out a little bit and it was kind of cool because they had some single track sections that were kind of <clears throat> off of the main walking trail so we checked that out um, and you know also found uh, that found out that they have a little farm stand and got duck eggs and so yeah I'm gonna try to see if I can make some something today with those duck eggs all right see you guys on the next video.